Which celebrity got cancelled and you genuinely felt bad for them? Brendan Fraser, he spoke the truth, he admitted media moguls molested him. He was blackballed for more than a decade. I don't know if he was cancelled but Hollywood did Brendan Fraser dirty. Glad to see him working again. I hear Doom Patrol's good. Edit, I wanna thank all that corrected me. He was blacklisted not cancelled. I don't wanna blur the lines between the two, I'm just not very hip. You guys are awesome. Dirty is putting it mildly. The poor guy has been through the ringer in more ways than one. Physical injuries, sexual abuse, ridicule. Seems like a good guy from the things I've read. He was on fake doctors and seemed like a genuinely nice guy. He usually plays someone in the everyman average intellect range, but came off as extremely intelligent on the podcast, as well. Suicide warning. Hanakimura. She was an Indonesian Japanese wrestler who often played the heel, and she wanted to be an actress. When she was offered a chance to be in the reality show Terrace House, she jumped at it. As we all know, reality shows are scripted. In a scene, Hana, remember, a professional wrestler on a reality show, slapped removed another contestant's hat one and scolded him. Her Twitter and Instagram accounts were overrun with awful comments, racist criticisms, and death threats for weeks, but over time it tapered off. Part of a reality show producer's job is to know how the audience thinks of all of the stars. The company monitors media coverage and social media trends. They knew. But right after quarantine started in Japan, they re-aired the episode. Hana lived alone. When the abuse began again, it must have seemed endless. She apologized on social media, took her kitten to the stardom wrestling office, and went home to kill herself. She was 22. 1. Edit. I hadn't watched the video since her death in May. Thank you to everyone who reminded me of the facts. Never heard of this so I looked it up on YouTube. Seriously? She pulled the guy's hat off while yelling on a freaking reality show and the fans bullied her into suicide. My GF watched Real Housewives and that wouldn't even be a notable scene. It's real TTV, do we not all know it's fake? People really suck. People would bully Lena Hetty for the shit her character did in Game of Thrones. People are stupid, illogical, emotional animals. Howard Dean. He yelled in excitement at one of his political rallies in 2004. People thought he was wasn't fit to be president because of it. Kind of a unique case but, Laura Dern. When Laura Dern played Ellen's girlfriend on the episode where she came out, she was blacklisted by the industry for nearly a decade. And some people would harass her to the point she needed protection in public. She says her manager warned her she wouldn't get roles if she agreed to take the part on Ellen but did so anyways. She went from Jurassic Park and being in demand to nobody giving her a call. Obviously she's recovered but we lost a decade of great Laura Dern performances because of studio's perception that she was cancelled by public opinion for playing a gay role. Edit, post getting attention, as Laura Dern should, so here's the story in her own words. She isn't full on cancelled but what Kesha went through was so messed up. Not only was she abused but her abuser was part of the record label and she wasn't able to leave her contract. Came here to say exactly this. I didn't particularly care for her material, but the minute she steps up to get away from abusers, the whole world just wrote her off. I didn't care for Kesha's old material much, if at all, but the album she made right after she was able to record again is fantastic, emo. She posted a selfie with no makeup and I instantly felt so bad. The amount of makeup she's had to wear to cover up all those freckles. Her record labor created this persona for her and completely ruined her reputation because they thought her being super a sexualized, alcoholic party girl was more marketable than the fact that she is talented as duck. And she's so beautiful with those freckles. Absolutely stunning. I hope she's doing better. My boy Brendan Fraser got blacklisted after being molested by a higher up in the movie industry wife divorced him taking his money too. After all the joy that man has brought us he got the short shit covered side of the stick. Edit, to all those who wish to know who did that to him it was a man named Philip Birkin ex-president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Associations. Not completely gone, but Terry Crews has issues getting work because he spoke out about being sexually assaulted during the Me Too movement. People assumed a man his stature couldn't be assaulted and he gave names and people weren't very happy. Wendy Williams mocked him on her show when he spoke up about it. She's a vile human. Why haven't we cancelled Wendy Williams? Truly a cancer in the media. Because the only people who ever liked her were vile in the first place. 
I was honestly shocked at that episode of Billy Eichner where all these people were enthusiastically praising Wendy Williams. She's fierce. No, she's a bully of the worst kind. Amanda Bynes. If you look into the reality of how creepy and awful Dan Schneider was, it all starts to make sense. Video about him, Amanda, and others, U2.B. I am rooting for Amanda Bynes. I have been to hell and back with bipolar disorder and it truly disrupts your life. But it's not everything. I can't imagine having paparazzi follow me and comment on my hair and wait like they do with Amanda. Paul Rubens aka Pee Wee Herman. He had a reputation of being kind of a stuck-up asshole when the Pee Wee character shot to fame, but not really any better or worse than other famous folks. He got cancelled because he was arrested for public indecency. He was caught masturbating in an adult theater. Aside from the undercover cop who caught him, he was alone, and it was a normal adult pornography film. But the industry and media acted like had been caught with child porn or had raped someone. Hess made a bit of a comeback recently though. I think people finally realize that in the grand scheme of sex crimes, drinking it by yourself in a porn theater is nothing at all. I saw his Pee Wee revival on Broadway several years ago and enjoyed it, and I've seen him on a lot of the celebrity game shows on TV recently. Hayden Christensen did nothing wrong. No actor should be maligned for decisions made by the writers and director. www.indiewire.com 202012 George Lucas defends Star Wars prequels against dialogue complaints 12346049500. The same goes for the Jake Lloyd who played young Anakin. Toxic fan culture ruined his life. You'd think starring in a big Hollywood movie would have made him the most popular kid in school, yet it did just the opposite. The bullying and media spotlight were too much to handle and he quit acting soon after. Now as an adult he's a diagnosed schizophrenic who can only rely on family for support. Star Wars fans are the ducking worst. No one hates Star Wars quite like Star Wars fans. Chris Brown. Just kidding he wasn't cancelled but I wish he was. There used to be a Chris Brown bot that every time he was mentioned in a comment it pasted the police report from when he beat Rihanna. What happened to it and how do I make a bot? What happened to it Chris Brown beat the bot to death. It hasn't been active in a year. Winona Ryder. That feels like one of the first big cancels of the internet age. Glad she was able to rebound with Stranger Things. I love how tame stealing sounds when people are getting accused of rape left and right. This is a good one. Glad she's uncancelled. Steve Cooley, Law County to, putting like a dozen detectives and attorneys on her shoplifting case while rapes and murders were going unsolved right and left was such a farce. Ashley Judd. Harvey Weinstein blacklisted her for years. She's an incredible actress emo. Mira Sorvino too. She went from one of the most in-demand actresses after winning her Oscar, to being completely blacklisted because Weinstein was telling anyone who'd listen that she was a diva and impossible to work with. When Peter Jackson was still making LOTR through Miramax, Weinstein told him not to hire Judd or Sorvino, and Jackson believed him. Even when the movies eventually moved to New Line Cinema, he still believed what Weinstein had told him, and wouldn't work with him. When hashtag MeToo started snowballing, Jackson remembered what Weinstein had told him about the two and apologized to them for it. I went to a luncheon where Mira Sorvino talked about her experiences with Weinstein. It was horribly tragic and disturbing. He destroyed her career and she very nearly avoided being raped by him. It was heartbreaking to hear. He is a monster and horrendous person. Britney Spears. She didn't even get cancelled, she just had her reputation smeared all over primetime TV and then the courts decide that her reaction to being systematically erased from relevance was crazy. Sonata O'Connor, The Dixie Chicks, and Corey Feldman I've always wondered where Sonata O'Connor went. She just seemed to fall off the map one day. What happened? Edit, rip my inbox. Thanks for all the great answers. Till what happened to Sonata O'Connor? I think she ripped up a photo of the Pope on stage and yelled something like fight the enemy. Yeah, people always say it's because she spoke out against the pedophilia and priesthood, but I think a lot of people were mostly just confused by that incident. She was a musical guest on SNL and tore up a picture of the Pope without being able to give much context in the moment, which came off as pretty awful to a lot of people. Yeah, 
I was young when it happened and every pretty much told me she hated Catholics.